The Samsung Galaxy S24 is a great choice for Android fans with exceptional battery life, top-notch performance and a sleek design that can stand up to some abuse. It's got almost enough features to be called Ultra instead packed into a smaller phone that's easy to pocket and use one-handed. It has all the new Galaxy AI and Google Circle to search features as well as Samsung's aging and overcomplicated software. The cameras aren't as great as some competitors in this range but it has more zoom than the iPhone 15 and Samsung gives you plenty of cool shooting modes to make your pics look great. With a promising of 7 years of Android updates, this could be the best affordable Galaxy S phone Samsung has offered in quite a while. The Samsung Pendulum sways back and forth between copying Apple and striking out on its own. This year, the Galaxy S24 is much closer to the iPhone 15 design than it has been in many years while the S24 Ultra looks just a bit more unique. It's the curve at the corners of the display that really bring home the similarity. The Galaxy S24 like an iPhone is well rounded at the corners while the S24 Ultra is all right angles. This is not a terrible thing, it just isn't very unique. At least Samsung has some nice colors this year. My review unit came in the cobalt violet color which is very pretty but a little sad like the stormy purple Apple once used on its iPhone. More vibrant are the sandstone orange and amber yellow options. I wish they were a bit more saturated and prime but they do look natural with a nice matte finish and texture to the back glass. The glass is unfortunately Gorilla Glass Victus 2 which was the best of the best last year but now we have seen Gorilla Armor on the Galaxy S24 Ultra and it's hard to settle for less. My Galaxy S24 review unit already has a scratch on the back glass and I don't have a case for this phone yet. Gorilla Armor is more scratch resistant and Samsung has done a great job reducing reflections and glare but only on the Ultra model. Samsung still does a great job keeping its phones thin and light. This is no Ultra and if you want a phone you can use with one hand, the Galaxy S24 is a great option. It's thinner than the iPhone or Google Pixel and it's also the lightest of the bunch. Usually, a lighter phone means less battery insight but the Galaxy S24 beats all competitors for battery life so it's not a concern. Sure, the Galaxy S24 Ultra is our top camera phone but that doesn't mean the Galaxy S24 is a slouch. Most of the great work Samsung has done improving its image processing carries through here. Photos I shot with the Galaxy S24 look better, more natural than photos taken with either the Galaxy S23 or my iPhone 15. You also get a real zoom lens with the Galaxy S24 and it helps a great deal. Having a real 3x zoom brings you closer to the field on the stage even if the zoom lens is paired to a awfully small sensor that produces images with more noise and blur than I'd like. No matter neither the Pixel 8 nor the iPhone 15 has optical zoom around back and real zoom is always better than digital zoom all things being equal. You might occasionally get better shots from the main camera on the iPhone 15 and the Google Pixel 8 does a better job with low light images but the Samsung Galaxy S24 is much more versatile. I actually find Samsung's different camera modes like the food mode or the dual camera video recording mode to be fun and useful. My baked goods look detectable when I shoot them with the Galaxy and the dual camera's video is great for reaction shots with Makido. Samsung also brings a bunch of AI tricks into the camera both in the camera app and Samsung's image gallery. I wish there weren't two photo apps including Google Photos but here we are. Unlike the Pixel which gives you AI editing in Google Photos, Samsung keeps its Magic Editor software in the gallery. With Magic Editor, you can resize an object in your photo and move it around. You can erase the background entirely and replace it with something new. The phone will use AI to figure out what's happening in the foreground and match the new background appropriately. There is also a tool that adds more background to an image if you rotate it and end up with blank space. In practice, these are surprisingly useful. I like erasing spectators in the way when I am trying to see my kid on the field. The generative AI did a nice job without a heavy hand 
and the results usually looked natural enough. I hope Samsung doesn't go too much further into creating fake imagery. But the Galaxy S24 will affix a watermark to images that have been edited using AI. Here you can see some camera samples. Even though the Galaxy S24 is the baby of the S24 lineup, it is still packed with power. If the larger sizes of the S24 Plus and an S24 Ultra don't appeal to you, but you don't want to miss out on the latest and greatest that Samsung has to offer, then the S24 is still a good buy. Galaxy AI is one of the big selling points of the entire lineup and though I wouldn't quite say it's the reason to upgrade, some of the AI features do come in handy. I am mostly referring to circle to search and the generative photo editing tools but the live translate and interpreter features will also be handy in a specific situation. And while the camera hardware hasn't changed, the software behind the image processing has definitely been fine-tuned. It's better now, in my opinion, with less burned into your retinas, vividness and more realistic hues. There is also a lot to like about the new Snapdragon 8 Gen 3 for Galaxy chip, especially power efficiency. Even though the S24 only has a 4000 mAh cell, it has great battery life, all things considered. Plus, the performance with Android 14 and One UI 6.1 is fast, snappy and responsive enough for pretty much anything you throw at it. If you are due for an upgrade this year, the Galaxy S24 is a good phone on your shopping list. It's not a must-have upgrade if you already have a Galaxy S23, but if you are upgrading from an older model, there is a lot to like here. Thanks for watching, see you in the next one.